All right, here we have two expressions, uh, red and blue, and we need to evaluate these using the order of operations. Remember, order of operations, that's our PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction, all right? Okay, it does also wrote up there that multiplication and division, we do that from in order from left to right when we get to that step. And same thing for addition and subtraction, we do it from left to right when we get to that step. Okay, so let's try to try one first. Um, I have to do what's in my innermost set of parentheses. And remember, brackets also count as parentheses. So my innermost, we have four plus four squared. And inside that, my first thing I have to do in the using the order of operations is the exponents. Four squared is 16. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down, four plus 16 now. Write down the rest. Okay, the longest part of this is just writing down each step, I think. Uh, I still have a set of parentheses here, which is 4 plus uh, 16, which is 20. So now it's 9 squared minus 20. It's inside our brackets with the 2 outside. And then inside our brackets now, 9 squared is 81. All right. So 81 minus 20. Still have those brackets. 81 minus 20 is 61. Okay. And then when a number is next to a bracket or a parentheses, it just means to multiply. 2 times 61 is 122. And so to evaluate this big long red one, we eventually get down to 122. Now let's try the blue one. The blue one over here says 2 times uh, the quantity 4 minus 3 squared divided by, all divided by, 6 divided by the square root of 100 plus 44, all raised to the third power. Okay, a lot going on here. Now, I want to do this one specifically because when you have a big fraction bar like this, I'll highlight it. What this is really telling us is that we have to do the whole top, the whole bottom, and then we can divide it. Okay, it's almost like they're in their own set of invisible parentheses. Okay, so I'm gonna work with the whole top first, then I'm gonna do the whole bottom, and I'm gonna take those two numbers and divide them and see what we get. On the top, I have parentheses, which means I have to do that first. Four minus three is one. So I'm gonna be left with, I'll do the top over here. Uh, two times one squared. One squared is one. 2 times 1 is just 2. Okay, this is my top. I'll we'll kind of keep that in mind. On the bottom, uh, I have, again, another set of parentheses. I also have a square root, okay? Square roots kind of also indicate parentheses. If you have to do everything that's underneath them before you can take the square root. And underneath this, I have 100 plus 44, which is 144. Hopefully, you can do that in your head. And the square root of 144 is 12. So let's see, I have 6 divided by 12 now, and that's still all in parentheses, raised to the third power. 6 divided by 12 is 1 half. Okay, so this could get a little bit interesting. Now I have 1 half raised to the third power. Right, and you have to remember your fraction facts, that when you have 1 half raised to the third power, this third gets applied to each part inside um, the fraction. So 1 to the third power is 1, and 2 to the third power is 8. 2 times 2 times 2. All right, so we have 1 8. This is our bottom. All right, so remember, like I said before, I have to take the top and now divide by the bottom. So our top was 2. Our bottom was 1 8. Uh-oh, we have a fraction inside a fraction. So I'm going to make this 2 on the top, 2 over 1. That's an okay math move to do because 2 is the same as 2 over 1. And then when we multiply, or when we, excuse me, divide by a fraction, we can actually flip that and multiply. I'm going to multiply this by its reciprocal, 8 over 1. And then I just have 2 times 8, which is 16. 16 over 1, which is also just 16.